Hi again, it's Chrissy, your life skills educator. I'm here to complete your third session of time management. So this one falls under the category of tips and tricks to help you complete the tasks that you need to complete throughout the day. Um, one of the most uh, easy accessible things that you can do other than creating a um, to-do list, which we've done in the first session, we did our Eisenhower theory of time management here. If you have other things in your life that need to be completed, um, but sometimes you find trouble motivating, it might be because you have too many, what some people call open loops, incomplete activities. So we've, uh, you, there's several books that go along with this. One talks about um, just making your bed at the first uh, of your day can actually make it so that you manage more tasks throughout your day. It's just a psychological tri uh, trick to help you complete more tasks within your day. So I have an example of something that helped me. Every Saturday I have to do a um, large amount of laundry. I have three kids and um, a spouse, and my spouse and I both work out throughout the day. So my Saturday usually encompasses a very large load of laundry. If you can see, it's out of the basket and over. This is clean laundry, I've already cleaned it. Um, so I have to dedicate a certain amount of my day on Saturday to folding and putting away that. So the laundry takes up a bit of my time. So I took a time-lapse video here, um, and you can see that I am actually completing this, but I have done two things that have made this easier for me to complete. One was I had a beverage that I was looking to enjoy. This time it was some sweet tea, so I had that beverage waiting with me. And I also put on one of uh, the things that I do when I am not being productive, which is watch some reality TV. So you can't see that, but I have that on my iPad, and I'm watching some reality trash TV, and I'm completing my task, and I'm rewarding myself by doing the thing that I would normally do to procrastinate while doing the mundane activity. So that's one way that you can help motivate yourself. So sometimes when you think, I just have trouble completing this activity, I don't know why, um, it could be because you have too many incomplete activities in your life, okay? Like for example, I have this sitting right here next to me. This is a return I need to send. I've got it in there. I just need to print the shipping label. So the next like easiest thing I could do to send it off would be to just go to the website, print the shipping label. Then I can go and find the tape and then I can walk it down to the, uh, to the office. But instead of just putting mail return, I need to put something like print shipping label so that I have the next step ready for me instead of just the item that is still hanging over my head that I need to complete. So another thing it, that teachers and parents actually have been using for a long time is those, again, those mundane tasks that need to be completed, urgent. I would put this in urgent, but not important cleaning, laundry, um, some daily health tasks that we have to do. Um, I use, with my children and with myself, I use the timer option on my phone. So it actually is not a lot of time within a day to put maybe 15 minutes to just tidy a space. Let me put that on there. So if I just put 15 minutes to tidy a space, I can, motivate myself by doing something that I enjoy doing, like listening to music or a podcast or calling someone on the phone. And I can multitask that while I'm sweeping, um, cleaning, if I need to organize some area in my house, I can do that. And the timer is actually really important because you think that the task actually probably takes longer than it needs. But if you think I can just de dedicate 15 minutes of my time, this is something that can have, um, actually have great benefits. Then you see how much shorter it takes to complete the task, and then it seems like you're more likely to complete more tasks because you have closed that loop. You have moved on from needing to complete that activity. So you might have some other really um, great tasks or great time management ideas. I encourage you to share those amongst the group. Um, let us know if you have thought this is helpful at all. And I encourage you to just pat yourself on the back. There's a lot of crazy um, things going out in the world, and you guys are just doing a fantastic job. So um, we'll look forward to seeing all of your wonderful faces when this is all over. And um, thank you so much. Bye.